housing situation is a joke. They put a Band-Aid on, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a raging river, you know, I mean, it's just not working. It's a familiar complaint and a familiar call to action. I need, uh, we need a change in leadership, we need a change in government. Period. This has been dubbed the 10 year tent city because it was exactly a decade ago that some of these very same people set up a similar homeless camp in protest of affordable housing in the city of Vancouver. Some of them say not much has changed since. On this exact site 10 years ago, the very same organizer made the very same plea for social housing. Time is moving on, people are being displaced, homelessness is increasing, we need homes built now. Here we are 10 years later, the site is still empty, uh, still designated for social housing in the midst of a housing crisis. Um, it just seems utterly absurd that we're here. But he says at least one thing has changed in the last decade. Today's tent city is led by women. Many of the women who are staying here say that they, are, they feel much safer to be together in a tent city like this than to be in an SRO or a shelter or living isolated in tents um, tucked away. This site has also turned into a political battleground. One of the provincial leaders made an impromptu campaign stop here. This is why the BC Greens have committed to increasing the, the disability rates, the um, welfare rates, social service rates by 50% over the next four years. This is why we're going to introduce the pilot projects for basic income. And this is why we're going to invest heavily in education. This group is also calling on local politicians to do more to end homelessness. The city of Vancouver argues many of them aren't actually homeless and are only there to protest. People are desperate for homes. And uh, so I, I completely sympathize with the protests. And the uh, main thing is, is that we want to be able to uh, try to uh, meet some of their concerns, see what we can do to do that or help facilitate. But as long as the protest is peaceful and uh, done safely, then, uh, you know, they can exercise their Canadian values and rights. But organizers say the city delivered an eviction notice late in the day, ordering the homeless camp be taken down by morning. So what's their plan? Well, I don't think anybody's leaving. You know. <laughs> and I'm sure we will be once, you know, we'll see what happens when the police show up, right? Tanya Fletcher, CBC News, Vancouver.